in early institutions for the elderly were primarily poor law institutions, early state institutions for the elderly. And in central and eastern Canada, those, those began a lot earlier. Um, I'm a BC specialist, so the institutions I'm looking at were established in the late 19th century. And poor law institutions were by nature fairly punitive because they were meant to be a last resort for people who had no other place to turn for a livelihood. Uh, but in, in British Columbia, the story unfolded in a rather different way, which I find quite interesting because poor law, the homes for the elderly that were established in the late 19th century were primarily established for men because there were too many old men in the, house, in the province. Um, there were demographically a preponderance of elderly men amongst the white population, the non-native population of the province. And as they aged, they were very vulnerable because they were men who'd never married. So the government viewed these men as worthy recipients of, of state assistance. And instead of putting them, you know, casting them off, um, created fairly decent institutions for them uh, to live in, places where they would go when they were no longer able to care for themselves in society, but they were actually in relatively good shape. So while they were living in these places, they would run gardens and do the work of these institutions. So the these places were established in different parts of BC fairly early on and were run, like I said, as, as I think in an institutional sense, fairly helpful institutions. And there was also a home for aged and infirm ladies in Victoria, BC, um, that was, uh, that is now, is still running, it's called Rose Manor, and it was a non-denominational uh, home that was established by the worthy women of Victoria in the late 19th century. There was also a Chinese, a home for elderly Chinese men, who again would be single, um, and vulnerable in old age because they didn't have a family to support them um, and were not welcome at the old men's home because they were because of the rampant racism in the province in the society at that time period. <laughs>